Hi, and welcome back to Dr. Kieran's Math Hacks. Today we're going to talk about multiplying a large mixed number to a fraction. Normally we uh, find an improper fraction, but with large mixed numbers, those can become unwieldy very quickly. So, so here's a shortcut you can use. All right, let's multiply some mixed numbers and fractions. Let's start out with something like 23 and two-fifths times three-sevenths. That looks really ugly. If we're doing it the normal way, we'd have to go 5 times 23 is 115 plus 2 is 117 fifths times 3 over 7. And that's just horrible. All right, so let's see how we can make it easier, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a way to split this up to make it easier, all right? When we're multiplying by 3 sevenths, that entails multiplying by 3 and dividing by 7. So if we can pull a factor of 7 out of this 23, that'll make it a lot easier. All right, so 7 times 3 is 21, right? So let's write this as 21 plus 2 and 2 fifths, and then multiply by the 3 sevenths. So when we multiply this times this, we get 21 times 3 over 7. All right, now... 21 divided by 7 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So we have 9 plus 2 and 2 fifths times 3 over 7. Okay, so now we can do the whole um, improper fraction multiplying business. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12. So we have 12 fifths times 3 sevenths. That gives us 36 over 35. That's going to be 1 and 1 35th. Now we can add this to the 9 very easily, and we get 10 and 1 35th. Let's look at another one. Let's look at 119 and two-thirds times three-fifths. Okay? We had five, so we can pull out, well, we know 100 is 20, and then another, another three to give us 15, right? So we can go 115 plus four and two-thirds times three-fifths. All right, this becomes 115 times 3 over 5. Well, we already know that, that that is 23. 23 times 3 is 69. Now let's look at the fraction part. All right, 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14, so we have 14 thirds times three-fifths. Well, we can cancel the threes, which gives us 14 fifths, which is two and four-fifths. Two and four-fifths plus 69. It's gonna give us 71 and four-fifths. Now that's a lot easier than dealing with multiplying this times three, adding the two and then trying to divide. That would just be too ugly. If you found this video useful, please consider liking, sharing, or subscribing. In addition, if you want this information in a way that you can have for your very own, check out my book on Amazon. See the link below.